So in this video, I'll show you how to create this mechanical component. In order to create this mechanical component, we have to uh, start with this profile and we can extrude it through this distance and you will get the major component. Onto this major component, we have to attach certain features like these two holes on top and this jib over here as well as the slot. So let us start creating the profile first. Before you start creating the profile, I should set the limits. That is, I'll go to limits command and I set my lower left corner at 00, 0 and upper right corner at 100, 100 and I'll give a zoom all. Now I'll create the profile. But before I create the profile, I should switch over to isometric because I would like to work in AutoCAD 3D. So in the figure, you can see that the isometric is southeast isometric. So in order to get southeast isometric, I should give V point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. Now, in order to construct this profile, I should align the UCS that is the XY plane in the into the current ZX plane. To get such a construction plane, I should rotate the UCS about X axis through 90 degree. That is the rotation option of UCS command. Now you can start creating the profiles. So I'll give polyline command and I'll pick my start point here and I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll draw a distance. Uh, um, the, I'll draw a polyline with a distance of 60 units. Then I'll draw another polyline from here. That's again 60. And this I'll offset through 20 each. So I'll give 20 and 20 offset because you know this offset distance is given as 20, 20 and this total distance is 60. So obviously this will also be 20. And uh, I should give a small offset of five units here because this is given as five here. So I'll again go to offset command and I'll give an offset distance of five and I'll select the object to offset and the side to offset and I'll uh, give another offset of 15 that is from here. I'll give again offset and I'll give an offset distance of 15 and this is select object to offset and side to offset and on the top of that I have 10 units offset so I'll give offset again 10 now select object to offset and side to offset and you can see that this distance is given as 30 so that should also be indicated here so I'll give offset and give an offset distance of 30 and select object to offset and side to offset then I'll draw a polyline I'll change my color to a different color to identify the main profile so I'll draw a polyline starting from here to the corresponding points which are obtained by the offset command. So now I'll pick all the necessary points on the screen. And when you keep close, you can see that you have completed the profile. Now I need only the profile on the screen and I want to get rid of all the other construction lines. So I'll give erase and I'll give all. Now I'm not going to erase all the objects. So I should remove type R the most recently drawn profile. So type L since that being the most recently drawn one. So L stands for last. I'll just give enter and one more enter to complete the erase, com erase command. Now I'll give extrude and you can give an offset distance of minus 60 uh, that is given here in the in the problem. So it is minus 60 and you have completed the main profile. So onto this main profile I should first attach this particular jib. This jib I am planning to create over here and then I'll extrude. So I'll give polyline and I'll start from this point. And you can see that this distance is given as 5 here. So I'll give 5 as the distance and I'll draw a straight perpendicular straight down and I'll pick these points and I'll complete the profile. I have closed it to complete, complete the profile. Now I'll give extrude again and you can see that this offset distance is 13 which is given here. So I'll give minus 13 because it is in the negative as a direction. Now this total distance is 60 and this is 10 and this is 13 which uh, when you add you will get 27 and 60 minus 27 will be 37. Uh, this is 23 in fact 23 so this is 37. So I'm going to move this object by giving direct distance method so I just give 37. Now I have done that. So this uh, jib was created. Now I should introduce a flatness over here. So in order to get this flatness, I should give construct the profile and extrude. So I'll start a polyline from here and I'll draw a perpendicular to this point. And this point is presently hidden, but you can get the same point by picking over here because you know that polyline is a two dimensional object and it cannot change the plane. So even if you pick here, you will get the corresponding projection of it over here, which is the actual uh, point. 
and I'll pick one more point here, then I'll give close to complete the profile. Now I give extrude and the height of extrusion is 10. So you have introduced this flatness over here. And these three objects are to be joined as a single object. So you can give union command, mm, union command, and you can select uh, all the three objects which are drawn, which are created, and you can see that the software combines those three objects as into a single object. Uh, that is a use of union operation. You have got a single object now. Now what I'm planning to do is I would like to create these two holes over here, over here on the top. So in order to make two holes, I should create two circles, then I should extrude. So you, you can see that the construction plane is on the top. So you, have, you can use the UCS commands three point option. I'll go to three point option and I'll keep my origin here, X here and Y here. And you draw a circle and the center point coordinate can be obtained from here. You know that this distance is uh, 30, this total distance is 30. And this axis uh, goes through the mid of this particular width. So it's actually a 15. When you keep the origin here, uh, this point coordinate is uh, 15 and 15. That is clear from the geometry of the figure. Even this distance is given as 15 here. So I'll give 15 comma 15 as the center point coordinate and I'll give radius as four. Now give extrude minus 60, minus 60. I'll give extrusion height of minus 60. I've got a cylinder. Now this cylinder is to be mirrored and this is the base point and this is a second point because I'm going to define a vertical axis. So after you pick the base point, you can turn the ortho mode on and simply pick a point over here. You can see that these two points will define a vertical axis. I called it vertical because it's parallel to the present Y axis. And I'll just give enter to complete the mirroring operation. Now I'll go to subtract, type simply SU to sub perform subtraction operation. And this is the uh, point, this object from which I should subtract. So that has to be selected first. Then just give an enter. Then you select these two objects and you give one more enter. And you can see that you have completed subtraction operation. And uh, finally, this uh, slot is to be created. So in order to create the slot, uh, I should give a slant distance here. Uh, this slant distance is, even if it is given as 22, that has to be actually 18 because that is clear from the geometry because 22 comes up till here. So this is 18. Uh, so I'll go to UCS and I'll go to three point option and keep my origin here and X here and Y here and draw a polyline from this mid and you give a distance of 18. Okay, you have got this land line here. But if you want to create this profile, this profile, I should align the uses first here. So you see is, uh, you, can do, you can go to previous op command, previous option, and previously uses was there, and just give one more uses previous, you can see that your uses has aligned in the required plane. Or else you can use the three point option to align the uses over here. Anyway, I'll start with the polyline from here, then another, this distance is uh, 15. In fact, that was given there. Sorry, that is 15. Sorry, five, it's five in fact. I'll give five. And uh, this point is picked here. And uh, I should move. And I should pick a point here. In, you can see that X coordinate of this point can be extracted from here. And Y of this point can be extracted from here. So I'll shift right click and go to point filters. And I'll take dot tux off this end point. And dot Y off this end point. You can see that you have, fini you have uh, defined this point. And you can come back to this point and give a close to complete uh, this profile. Now you can move this profile backwards. Because this profile is presently situated right at the middle. So you have to move it 10 units backwards. So I give move command and I'll pick my base point here. And the second point is just distance of 10. You can erase this land line which you have drawn first. And now I'll give extrude. And you can give a extrusion height of 20 because there's a slot width. And now give subtract. And you select this particular object first. Then you give enter. Then this next. Then just give one more enter to complete the subtraction operation. And you can give hide or shade to uh, get a shaded representation of what you have done. You can also orbit this from various angles to get a better understanding of the model. And you can see that the hole is a through hole and even the slot is a through slot and uh, you have got the required model in the required view. So this completes the problem. Thank you.